Hey there fellow travelers, welcome back to our Washington DC adventures. In this second part of our vlog, we have an exciting day planned, starting with a visit to the iconic Thomas Jefferson Memorial. Good morning everyone, we are here at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, dedicated to the author of the Declaration of Independence and the third President of the United States. Let's take a stroll around and admire the neoclassical architecture. Did you know this spot offers stunning view of the Tidal Basin and the Washington Monuments? Next up, we are heading to the U.S. Capitol Visitor Center for an informative group tour. We're in Capitol Hill, Capitol Hill of United States in Washington, D.C. Capitol is not just a legislative building. It's a symbol of democracy. Here we are, stepping into the U.S. Capitol Visitor Center, a busing hub that serves as the gateway to the legislative branch of the federal government. Before we dine in, take a moment to appreciate the grandeur of this entrance. Decide to welcome millions of visitors each year. Before we begin our journey, let's get oriented. The U.S. Capitol is not just a building, it's a symbol of democracy. Our tour today will take us through various chambers, exhibition halls, and history spaces that have played a crucial role in shaping the nation's history. Our first stop is the iconic Century Hall, a chamber filled with statues representing significant figures from each state. This hall, steep in history, was once the meeting place of the House of Representatives. The stories within this wall offer a glimpse into the diverse tapestry of American history. The U.S. Capitol Visitor Center houses fascinating exhibition halls showcasing artifacts, documents, and multimedia displays 
from the founding fathers to contemporary legislative issues, this exhibit provides a comprehensive overview for the nation's developments. What do I mean by choose? You can back to this. Sacrifice for the kids. I'm not saying this is Washington, goes in the bathroom, and throws the French Now we are outside the US Capitol Hill, ready to capture some Instagram worthy moment. The Capitol grandeur makes it a perfect backdrop for group photos. Don't forget to strike a post and soak in the rich history that surrounds us. Our journey continues as we walk by the magnificent Library of Congress. This is the largest library in the world, housing millions of books, recordings, photographs, maps, and manuscripts. Though we may not have time to go inside today, the exterior alone is a sight to behold. Let's take a leisurely tour through the U.S. Botanic Garden, a living plant museum situated at the foot of the Capitol. 
from exotic orchids to historical medicinal plants, this garden is a serene oasis in the heart of the city. Enjoy the vibrant color and diverse flora. Our final stop of the day is none other than the iconic White House. As we make our way around the South Law, we notice the beautiful gardens and manicured landscapes. This area serves as a backdrop for various events, ceremonies, and even the famous Eastern Egg Roll. As we approach this symbol of presidential power, take a moment to reflect on its historical significance. Unfortunately, we can't go inside, but the exterior is a must-see. The White House, built between 1792 and 18th century, has been the official residence of every U.S. president since John Adams. It's not only a home, but a symbol of the United States. Our visit to the White House may be limited to the exterior today, but the historical significance and symbolism is whole make it a must destination. Let's wrap up our Washington DC adventure for today. Join us in the next part as we explore more landmarks and hidden gems in this captivating city. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more historical journeys. Until next time, happy exploring and may history continue to unfold in this esteemed residence. Wow. 这是我们华盛顿最后一站哦